The Lux was sent to me directly from Welland, the company who makes it, and this is a sleek and discreet pod-based vape. It's draw activated, easy to use, and it performs well, so let's talk about it. It uses an aluminum alloy battery with a capacity of 450 milliamp hours. Full charging time is estimated about two hours. The cartridges are made of PCTG plastic and hold 1.2 mils of e-juice. The coils are ceramic and have a resistance of 1.4 ohms. It pushes 8 watts to the coil. It's 95 by 19 by 10.6 millimeters. It weighs 22 grams and it comes in the colors of black, silver, champagne gold, and rose gold. It has all your typical safety protections, low voltage protection, short circuit protection, and pod detection. In the box you get the Lux device, two refillable pods, a charging cable, and a user manual. The Lux, in my opinion, looks really nice. It's a little bulkier than the Jewel, but it's not really that much different. It has a rounded design, it's a nice color, and a good looking logo LED at the bottom. On the top where the pod connects, they added these slots, which serve the great purpose of letting you see how much e-juice you have in the pods. This is a small little feature that I love. The Lux comes with refillable pods that hold up to 1.2 mils of e-liquid. When they're new, they come in foil packs. Just pop one out and fill it up. You can fill it up to just under the top of the chimney in the middle. If you fill over that, the e-juice will go into the chimney, so just be careful about that. The pods drop right into the device and stick with a magnetic connection. You'll see the connector pins in the device and the flat metal plates that connect on the bottom of the pod. The pods use ceramic coils, which puts out really good flavor. I don't know if it's just the ceramic or the overall design of the pod, but I was totally surprised by how good the flavor is on these pods. The design is just about perfect. Usually with pod based kits like this, you'd expect a really tight draw to mimic a smoking experience, more like the Jewel. That's not the case here. The airflow is more of a cross between an airy mouth to lung draw and a very restricted lung draw. It seems to work both ways. You can take mouth to lung hits if you take several in a row, or you can take lung hits. And I think it's really important to note that because you don't want to get one of these expecting a really tight draw. I actually ended up really liking the draw because it lets me take some pretty big hits when I want. And you can get a big cloud of vapor with lots of flavor. You can use fairly high nick in here too. I've been using 50 milligram high nick e-juice just fine. These are 1.4 ohm coils powered by only 8 watts. So high nick salt nick e-juice seems to work nicely. They've really fine tuned the way this works. 8 watts on that on 1.4 ohms and creating the amount of vapor that it produces is awesome. The biggest drawback of the pod is that it whistles. Both pods that I've tried have a slight whistle. The LED light on the device tells you the battery charge and when it has a high charge it will be green, a medium charge will be blue, and a low charge will be white. The LED will also light up when you plug in your pod to let you know that it's connected properly. According to Wellens website, the Lux has an aluminum ion battery, which is interesting. AI batteries are a newer technology that I haven't heard of any vape company using before. Just from what I've read online, these are low cost, have low flammability, are fast charging and compared to lithium batteries they're significantly safer and have higher capacity this is a really unique choice for a battery the battery itself is 450 milliamp hours and i've actually found that to be quite a big battery for this device by comparison the jewel reportedly has a 200 milliamp battery so this is more than double the size i've been vaping on it quite a bit and it holds charge for a really long time and battery management is really good to charge the lux you just plug it into a usb cable which is great i'm really happy that they went with a, a mini usb since it's something that we all have access to rather than using one of those annoying proprietary chargers like other companies use. All right, so overall, it's a great pod-based vape. It's really easy to use, it has an awesome battery, it looks great, it's really small, and the flavor is really, really good. The only con that I really have is that the pods have a slight whistle.